Satan's target is your mind, and his weapon is lies. So fill your mind with God's word. Amen. Glory, glory, glory be to God. Another plea to gang stalkers to please stop stalking me in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior of all. Any who call upon his name, the same shall be saved. Repent of your gang stockings in the name of Jesus. Neither they repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. As a targeted individual, I've experienced a lot of thefts, many, many thefts. Example of what happened last night of a theft. Paperwork that was in my purse, work-related paperwork that was in my purse, was removed by Satan's hand. I looked all over for it. Good thing I have a good memory so I could remember what the paperwork said to do my report with it, my memory. This morning, the paperwork appeared in my purse. So that means a demon, unseen, came, took it, and put it back in my purse. Or a person with a demon in it came in my home when I was asleep and put it in my purse. But God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now I know that I had that paperwork. I know that that paperwork was not in my purse last night when I went to bed, but it was there this morning. In the name of Jesus, and God strike me dead if I lie. I am asking you, that was sorcery, what you did, witchcraft, sorcery, repent of this, and leave people alone. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because counting other people's sins doesn't make you a saint. It makes you a person who thinks they're God and can judge and punish other people.